In this quick tutorial, I will show you how to create a new notebook. I will call that France. It's my trip to France and I visited different parts of France. One of them is Paris and I create a new section and I will also show you how to create pages and then add some details onto that page. So let's get started. Step number one, click on here, then click on here. It would show you all your notebooks that you got. Then you could click on here, add notebook to create a new notebook and I will call it France. Then click on create notebook. Then we created a new notebook called France. Then it would automatically create a new section called new section one, a new page called untitled page. So we can then right click on it and change its name and I will call this Paris. And to change the name of your page, you don't need to do anything here. If you come here and give the page a new title, I will call it day one. You can see it's automatically changed. And then if you want to add a new page, you can click on here and it adds a new page. Sometimes you need to do it a few times. Sometimes it doesn't work as you expect, but if it works, it's brilliant. So we got day two and now we can create anything we want. We can say expenditure, for example, and you saw there it knows the spelling. So it's easily can correct your spellings. And then we add a simple table and we say how much things cost on that day for us. For example, let's say banana and then by pressing tab, I go to the second part and I say it cost me one euro. And if you don't have the symbol on your keyboard, you could go to symbols and just select euro sign and then just type one and it got one euro. And then Apple, 1.5 euro. You realize that ah, actually Apple was two euros. So you can come here, undo and then change it to two euros. And you can redo, undo and then you could also add links. For example, if you got all your photos saved in your Google Drive, you could share a link in here or you could actually insert photos. You could actually insert files such as PDFs. You could also print this page and you can also record your audios. So you can make an audio note rather than writing everything down. Obviously, if you are in a meeting, you could make meeting notes and if you do a lot of equations you could use this equation functions which would make your notes to look good obviously after you finish this you could always click in here and go to another notebook or add another notebook or if for example you got another one note on another computer once you install it you might not see this France notebook what you got to do then is to click on here more notebooks and then it will show you all the notebooks and then you need to actually select it and then click on open then it adds you that other notebook if you don't do that it will not show on your other devices whether it's on your phone or just on another computer and just make sure it is synced, page sync it status shows in here. Also, you can easily color code your stuff by selecting it and marking it, for example, selecting it and then making it bold, selecting it and changing the font color very easy. You can do a lot of funky stuff using this free OneNote for Windows 10. So this was the basic tutorial how to get started. 